Hello my Soccer Universe 2 part 3 of my AFCON jersey review and it actually hurts that I don't have a jersey of the top team in this group and one of the top favorites to win it which is of course Senegal but hey I have here my 2010 Algeria shirt with a really nice Fennec which I think should make up for it I absolutely love this Fennec here I love the 2010 Africa range so yeah very happy to have this jersey but we'll not start with Algeria because they are not the top seed in this group although they are a darn strong team as we have seen so far now we'll start with the top seed which is Senegal which as I said is one of the pre-tournament favorites featuring a side you know anytime you have Sadio Mane and uh, Koulibaly in your side you're one of the best sides in Africa and it was only a little bit of fluke that you didn't qualify uh, at last year's World Cup for the round of 16 where maybe you could have done some damage although I don't know against Belgium well Japan almost had Belgium we talk about jerseys um, I've written about the Senegal jerseys on my blog and yeah the 2017 jerseys especially the home jersey was absolutely sensational and that's the one I'm listing for and I've I will sooner or later get uh, the Puma jersey you know it was a last minute switch from Roma to Puma so I didn't expect much but actually Puma surprised me yes I do not like the template especially the way the uh, you know it has the, uh, the, a similar pattern as the Nike jerseys with the raglan sleeves but it ex the body extends way too much on there and gets into the form stripes which I think really looks weird um, also the shade of green <clears throat> could be a little bit you know this is a very airy or watery shade of green I want it to be more earthy as I have it uh, on the crest uh, or the flag you see the shade of green here is uh, a lot more saturated this would make for a better um, choice I would think personally uh, other than that the jersey is relatively plain but it is saved by this huge lion shadow imprint which is also referencing a little bit local culture so it's not only that there's a lion in there but it's also done in the style um, of local culture and that actually makes this a great uh, looking jersey although I never understood why Senegal is playing in white when you have you know a national flag that has the three African colors with um, red yellow and green but okay you gotta probably differentiate yourself from all your neighbors which play in all these colors so maybe that's the reason why I do like this one I was a few times thinking shall I get this jersey instead of the great jersey uh, from 2017 and in the end nah not quite although it is a good looking one with this lion print on there I like it a lot however it's not perfect and for that I only gave it on my blog 8 stars and I will stick with 8 stars. Um, the away jersey basically reverses the colors but I have to say this is to the detriment because here really you would like to see a different shade of green and also the white as an accent is, leaves me wanting. It is saved by the yellow number but you know you could use a little bit red, you could lose, uh, use a little bit of yellow in there choose a green I mean even if you leave that green tone but uh, green tone even but choose this earthier green tone that uh, you have on the flag make maybe the color also in yellow and the um, uh, form stripes in red and I think you have something going there uh, or reverse it you know the white is what's bugging me here on the other side you see the lion pattern a little bit better so on this one so that's a plus I do like the updated Senegal crest as well. Um, it makes a, has a nice lion on it. But you know, a little bit this jersey leaves me wanting. Thanks to the print, it's a great jersey, even despite these weird form straps. But uh, it leaves me wanting a little bit, and I stick with my rating that I gave it on my blog for seven stars. Now let's move to Algeria, which has uh, pretty much the same color scheme, but this time they are uh, by supplied by Adidas and they use a template on the uh, which one side is blah on the other side actually I have to say this one doesn't look that bad you know of it these specs we saw this a lot at the women's world cup all the uh, away jerseys of the Adidas teams had this template but I have to say what uh, they use the color smart here you have the white and you have the uh, color outlined in green uh, in red and then you have the green three stripes and also the green sleeve comes with a little bit of red in there so you get the national colors in there and 
again in the flag the red is only on the moon so this is kind of the only uh, red whereas the other thing is green and white so um, I think it makes some sense to use the red sparingly and focus a little bit more on the green I also think that with the specs on there uh, the, the gray it doesn't look that bad and of course there's a fennec on the back side of the jersey which always makes me uh, is always a nice touch maybe the fennec could have, could have gone on the front but hey, um, I actually like this jersey. Um, is, is it perfect? No, but I think it's a decent looking jersey. And for that reason, I'm gonna give this uh, seven stars. It's an Adidas jersey that is, uh, you know, your typical Adidas jersey. It is recognizable, that's a decent shirt. Um, it could use a little bit more pizzazz in form of a more um, custom made pattern. But you know, maybe this specs are like sand dunes from the, whatever just making stuff up. The away jersey, my first thought is um, why are we making one of the most iconic soccer jersey patterns uh, team wear? This is team wear now. The 90, 1990 pattern, uh, the inverted one I should say, uh, of Germany is now team wear. Basically they made the Germany home jersey, the current one, into a team wear jersey. I call it Campion. Um, not too crazy about it. On the other side, similar to the home, home jersey, I think the coloring is all right. You use a green tone that's close enough to the one of the flag. You use white and you just use red a little bit. Maybe you could have used red a tad bit more. Uh, make maybe one of the stripes red or you know a little bit on the sleeve cuffs but you know on the other side don't uh, if you overdo the red it also weighs the jersey down a little bit it almost looks like a germany away jersey to me uh, i think <laughs> and also the placement of the crest is not well within this uh, dip here so that's my gripe with that one and for me it's hard to see this temple yes i know Columbia 1990 had a similar idea or so, but this particular pattern is so much uh, connected with Germany that for me it's really hard to see it on a different team. Um, and therefore, yeah, it just doesn't quite make the cut and not even the Fennec on the back saves this. Um, I'm gonna only give this five stars because it's, there's something just not right about this one. Something right is also fitting to the next jersey, which is the Kenya home jersey. Again, Macron dropped the ball. Um, I'm not saying you should go all Mafro on Kenya, which all the stars. I mean, this was a little bit too much, to be honest, but uh, this is too little. You give them a red kit with this white collar, which I actually like, and also the band. I think the collar is nice, but there is nothing else. Kenya has prominent black has prominent, prominent green use these colors make something special don't give them a bland red kit this looks like luxembourg yeah i think this is the best way to say it. this looks like luxembourg and that's not a good look um i like the crest although again i could do without the soccer ball but um this jersey seriously leaves me wanting i was so looking forward to see kenya I was so looking forward to see the crazy Mafro kids, and then what did we get? A boring red jersey. I'm sorry, Macron. You really can do better. You've proven in Europe that you can do a lot better. This is not it. And the white, I mean, if it's at least red and black, uh, red and black and a little bit of green, then maybe. But the white doesn't, yes, there's white on the Canyon flag, but it doesn't make much sense to me. Boring jersey. Uh, the color saves it from a lower grade, but I still four stars and i have to say the same goes for the away jersey which uses the same weird template as the guinea one uh, which i don't even which i like less uh, the color looks weird it's just white there's nothing to it um, and the, the color weird the shoulder straps doesn't make much sense to me uh, this is a typical case of back to the drawing board uh, try and give me something here it's not there's nothing bad with the jersey per se it's just when i think kenya i'm not thinking white and red i'm not thinking boring i'm thinking there should be a shield on there you know a spear uh, look at the kenyan flag that's what i'm looking for this is not it 
I'm also going to give this four stars because per se it's not a horrible, horrible jersey. That's why I don't want to go three or even low, but I'm just disappointed. Nah, scrap that. Two stars for lack of imagination. I gave it to Japan. I give this here to Macron too. I'm sorry, Macron. I like your European jerseys a lot. This one in Africa, you're dropping the ball. Getting too upset, so let's move on quickly and go to Tanzania. Who has a much better uh, jersey output? Ulsport, which we saw at the last World Cup um, equipping Tunisia. They also give us here the jerseys for Tanzania, and probably the, I think those are the only jerseys at the AFCON. And they're really nice. Uh, blue is not a color you see very often in Africa. And combined with yellow, black and green, that's a combination that is very unique. Um, I really like the idea. First of all, look at the color with the blue and then you have the green, yellow and black on the collar. This looks really nice to me. Then the brush strokes of black and green and the numbers are in yellow. So you get all the national colors in there and still a very unique, um, colorful but pleasant look. Uh, other numbers, the numbering style maybe is not the greatest, but you know, um, it does its job. Um, I like this. I'm quite happy with this. And yeah, when I compare it to the other jerseys in the group, this is I mean, yes, there's a lion print on the Senegal jersey, but the template is not great. These are just uh, soccer jerseys with, with a special extra. Eight stars for that one. And the away jersey uh, uses yellow, which also makes a lot of sense. Uh, um, I like that one too, but maybe not as much as the um, uh, home jersey in blue. But this one is also a pretty good looking jersey. Uh, I like the idea behind it. Gonna give this easily seven stars. So we end somewhat dish on a high note, I'm happy to say, because I, those Kenya jerseys get me upset. Algeria also a little bit some a little bit lack of imagination in the middle in there, although I had the home jerseys are nice. But does it beat this one? Or even the follower uh, in 2012? No, it does not. I think Puma did a little bit better with Algeria overall. Anyway, let me know if you agree with me. There were some nice Algeria Adidas jerseys as well at the last AFCON, that's for sure. I think here Adidas also slightly dropped the ball, especially with putting a Germany print on an Algeria jersey. Anyway, let me know how you think about all these. Uh, am I all right to get upset with these? Drop me a line below, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these, and I will talk to you soon with part four. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.